Sinn Féin were organising protests against the water charges today in Bray. Uh, there was a meeting last night in uh, a pub in Arklow from a group of people who are, of course, po- opposed to the water tax. And Mary MacDonald uh, joins us, Councillor, there around that area. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Declan. How are you? Okay, so uh, any protests in Arklow today? Uh, no, not today. We're going to tie in with the Right to Water protest on the 11th of October, Saturday the 11th of October. Um, we're holding a protest. We're meeting at the Father Murphy statue outside the church in Arco, um at 2 o'clock on Saturday the 11th. And we're going to march to the town um, in conjunction with the Right to Water campaign that's going on um, nationally on that particular day as well. Right. Do you think that all these protests are having any input uh, and impact at all, that they're making people change their mind? These things seem to be there for, you know, they're in, that's it, and um, good luck to you, and you'll end up uh, having your water cut off or something like that if you don't pay. This, it's all uh, futile. I don't know. We had actually, that, that particular subject came up last night at the meeting, um, and if we go back a couple of years there too, um, you might remember when the government threatened to take the medical cards from... Um, the elderly people and they got out on the streets and they marched and they protested and it did, it did actually have an effect. It, the decision was reversed. Now I'm not saying that's going to happen with Irish Water over the next couple of months or couple of weeks while we're protesting but I do think that it's time that, you know, somebody sits up and takes notice that no, we're, we're not having it. We've, got, we've had enough. We've taken enough and we're, we're just not going to lie back and take what you're going to throw at us anymore. And I do honestly think that these peaceful protests will send a message to the right people um, in saying that I do think that the time is actually ripe to be doing this type of protests because I do believe Enda Kenny is a nervous man at the moment. Things are starting to crumble down around him a little bit. These things take time. They don't happen overnight. But I think we've got to get off the soapboxes, get out on the street and just let them know we're not having it anymore. And how many people are at the meeting? Do you have uh, much support? Because people might feel uneasy that it's tied to a political party as such, that it's, it's not spontaneous, you know? No, sorry, it's not actually tied to a political party. Um, yes, Sinn Féin do absolutely reject the notion of water charges, but this particular demonstration on the 11th of October is a nationwide under the, the flag of Right to Water campaign. Um, it involves every political party, every organisation, every club, every person, every dog cat man on the street needs to get on the street and let the government know that we as a people, as a nation, are not taken anymore. What's the feeling in Arklow about the uh, sewage? Because uh, 50% of the costs uh, of uh, this water regime are going to be for getting rid of wastewater. Now, your wastewater in Arklow just goes into the river and stinks it out and pollutes it. Oh, goodness. Yeah, yeah that's, um, that's the whole other show, Declan. Um, no, people aren't happy. I mean, the, the anger in the town over this particular subject is palpable at the moment. Um, it was brought up at the meeting last night as well. Like, why should we pay for a service that we're not getting? Um, right, we're, we're going to have to pay for our incoming water. Why should we pay for our outgoing water that's not being treated? It's just going straight out into the river. I mean, if you went to the supermarket to buy a loaf of bread and they insisted that you also take a pint of milk, but we're going to charge you for it even though you don't need it, you're not going to do it. It's all, I know it, it sounds trivial, but it's down to the same thing. We're paying for a service that we don't have. Yeah, and will there be any give on that, do you think? Well, here's hoping, but at the moment I can't see see any changes in that. We certainly will be letting it known, letting it be known that we no, we're not going to pay for something that we don't we don't have. Right, okay, right, so uh, it's starting and the anger is starting there in Arkham. That, that uh, sewage scheme has gone on for a long time. It's Mary MacDonald, oh. who's a Sinn Féin councillor uh, around the Arklow area on the uh, the district uh, committee for that. Uh, so Mary, it's, uh, it's all centred for this October the 11th anyway. October the 11th and we're encouraging everybody to get out. We're going to be walking from, like I said, the Father Mercy statue outside the St. Mary and Peter's Church down the main street across the bridge and just around, but there's a little roundabout there at Bridgewater and back into town and just to be seen, to be out there. You know, we, there's no point, like I said, standing on the soapbox, sitting in your armchair, 
complaining to one another, giving out. We've got to get out and start doing something about it. It's, it's uh, I mean, enough is enough. All right, Mary. Okay, thanks for your time this morning. Good morning to you. Not at all. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Uh, nice. In uh, was it John Joe's pub in uh, Arklow about this? And uh, there seems to be growing anger from what we can see anyway of people getting in touch with us about the fact that fifty percent of the, the money that's paid on the water charges is for getting rid of the waste out of the house. But when it gets out of the house in Arklow, it's just dumped in the river. Now, what effect does that have on the river? Well, if you live in Arklow, you know damn well what effect it has on the river, making it so polluted. So that is the big issue. Should you pay, be demanded that uh, you are paying for something that actually pollutes the river up the road? Oh, it's 77 is our number here. On the morning show at East Coast.